So what we do here is we go to the shop. <laughs> listen to his lovely singing. And watch the luggage dance. Okay, that was weird. Never seen the luggage do that before. We take a Z butter fly and use it on the lamp. I said use it on the lamp. There we go. And in the distant future of uh, probably 10 hours, this happens. Get it? Get the joke? Get the puzzle? Understand what happened? It's easy to explain and easy to realize what just happened here. And also, really? Is it really gonna take this long for this animation to go? Or do I need to click? No. It's just gonna wait. Poor monk. He's totally drenched. And there she blows! No need to catch that butterfly back. It has used its, uh... Uh, use... Usefulness. Good thing about that the butterfly is that it's not really time traveling at all. It's just causing a paradox. S sort of, kind of. It's not really a paradox, it's a... Well... Well, it is. Ca causing a time of a, a type of a time paradox there. You know? A butterfly effect. Just like Jay said, an effective butterfly. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice one. But yeah. Simply put, we just caused a butterfly effect. You know that old saying when a butterfly flaps it flaps its wing in China, in over in Europe or America, it rains. That's the old saying, and that's what we used for our benefit, causing a butterfly fly effect to cause rain on the monk on the same spot, just a few hours later. That's how butterfly effect works. It's a time travel stuff. Oh look, the frog is back. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in Rizwin's mouth. I don't think we need him for anything anymore. I'll still take him with me. Because I like frogs. I didn't want to close the door. There you go. At least Rizwin now knows how to open that door. So, to the street we go. Since the monk got drenched, completely drenched, in in rainwater, you would expect that he would put his uh, cloak somewhere. And now he is uh, in the corner, just wet. Is he wearing breeches? Is that a girdle? A wet, dripping monk. I wonder if I can muster some crocodile tears. Well, they wouldn't be crocodile tears. Tears. They would be monk tears. Damn! The die is running, turning my skin all blue. You dye your dark robe blue, or is it something else that you? I don't want to actually know. So, as you can see, robe. Now we have a dark robe to use for getting into the uh, secret society of uh, dragon summoning. The only problem is we need to somehow get in there. And to get in there, we need to go back to the past once again. As we have already tried and uh, tried to get in there, but uh, we couldn't because they won't let us in because we're not we weren't wearing the proper attire. Once we go back here and wait for that thief, get over here, luggage. Come on, luggage. Move your dainty little feet. Fine, he'll come here eventually. 
Just gotta wait for her to thief. You gotta do this like this. Even if I go into the hideout right now, the, he wouldn't appear there. Because we need to get him to move, and he will be moving in the city before he goes to the lookout point. So let's go to the hideout. Lookout point? Why did I say lookout point? Hideout. Yeah, that's turned. Good. You can see I've turned the drain pipe already. And from here, we take the glass and use it on the drain pipe. Ah, that's better. As he, as he already told you, he hears better. And once they arrive, or he arrives, we listen. Yes. Hail, brother door opener. Hail. Rain. Snow. Doorkeeper! Opener, keeper, what's it matter? Well, keeper holds the door shut and you know and all that. Opener is well, just... Well, I don't have to open it to just anybody who turns up. You could be a spy. I actually already said that all that, those things in the previous stuff. A spy? Yeah, like me. I mean, I'm not a spy. Well, it's We're a possibility. Here. You could be a very clever spy wearing a very effective disguise. He's right, you know. So what we're gonna do. Thanks for the idea. Open the blasted door. It's not really blasted, it looks like a normal door to me. <laughs> What's the password? Your mom. Alright. Dean Pusa. I think it was Silver Spoon. That's the password. It's spoons Swordfish. Right? No. What? You didn't say Simon Says. So the password is Simon Says Silver Open the Swordfish. Door or I'll kill you. Or a spoon short. A spoons Swordfish. Da, ah, the other password. I guess that password will work too. I wonder if we can use it. <laughs> so now that we know the password, sort of, kind of, let's wear this. Looks very dashing on Rincewind. <laughs> Where the heck he, did he pull that off? <laughs> Reason when was having none of that. <laughs> mm, hello. Hail. Hail. Greetings. Yes, hail, brother doorkeeper. Right, give me the password and I'll let you in. It makes his bum look big. True. Oh, all right. In that room, he's got a big ass. Ah. Let's see now. It's blah 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 spoons blah 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 swordfish blah blah blah. <laughs> that's, right? That's pretty much what the text said. No, you didn't say Simon says. Hey, you didn't say Simon says. Yeah. Oh, Simon says. Okay. Welcome, or oh fellow brother of the elucidated brethren of the storm. That was easy. Easier than I thought. Just say Simon Says. That's the password, I, I, I assume. Not blah blah blah, spoons, blah blah blah, swordfish, blah blah blah. But hail, brothers! Sounds familiar. Hail! 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 Yay, right! Hail! But once again, we elucidated brethren of the sword are met. He sounds but really familiar. once again, we shall weave the webs of power. But if we know now that it is our destiny to rule this city. Ooh, chucky, chucky, oh, chucky, Well, that already chucky, tells chucky, us who chucky. he is. Yep. Hey, how'd he go? Oh, there he is. Graphical glitches. Yes. Weird. 
Once I thought it was my destiny to build a Papier Mache dinosaur in my bedroom. Wow. And I thought it was my destiny to win the men's overland saxophone championships. Wow. But now I know Destiny to rule the I city. I finally know that it is my destiny to rule Ankh Morpork. Who Here. Would... What about us then? Yeah, who would want to rule that city anyway? The Marine Company with these my loyal lack of the, um, loyal comrades. A new age <sighs> shall dawn, my friends. He's full of himself. Hail! I fool something, all right. An age of power and majesty. The age of dragons. A dragon. An age. age of freedom, without indoor plumbing and the job losses it entails. Hail! Without the indoor plumbing, you're the goddamn guard. A world where a man can carry out his legitimate wealth redistribution business without worrying about quotas. You're the thief. Hail! He's the thief, and the other guy's the donk master, you know. Where cheap replastering will be outlawed in favor of major structural reinforcement. Sounds like a carpenter Yay, or... A place where low mackerel sales will be a thing of the past. You're the fishmonger. And compulsory smoke-through cleanliness will be rigorously enforced. You're the chimney Hail. sweeper. Brother Brigwit, Brother Broom, Bring the toe. Break with bro. Oh, for the spell of power. Brother. Oh, yes. Brother. Power. Uh, pencil head. <laughs> nice. Nice one, Rinsley. Oh, dark spirits of the universe. With this bowl, we do consecrate and, and, and so forth. Except now, these sacrifices, as we consign the potion to the flames. Bring oh. us the power. Of the dragon! So now dragon. the good. Dragon! 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 We saw this already in the beginning of the game. Do we really need to see this again? Dragon good, 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 dragon Dragoo goo dolls or something so now we know who these people are so there was the fishmonger the thief um, the chimney sweeper the jester the dunk master and a person we haven't met before but uh, sounding from what he demanded uh, or he requests for for the power that they're gonna get he sounded like some kind of a carpenter or uh, a uh, architect, something like that. So now that we know who the people are, now we can actually go do some stuff. As in, we can go to the shades. Now we have a reason to go to the shades. I need a very good reason. The shade. Yeah, we know about the shades. It's an evil place. We have a reason to go there, Rincewind. It is to find the evildoers. <sighs> and get, and the, find the evildoers and get their golden items. That's what we need to do. So. We don't know where the chimney sweeper is. He's over in the alley. So he's gonna be quite easy to find. Because he's always there. Just getting the uh, golden item from him is not gonna be that easy. Let's go see if he's up there. Go up. Yeah, there he is. A git with a broom. Hi. Good morning, Jimmy. Fine day for it. For what? Oh, for whatever innocent folk like we can find to do up here on the rooftops. Have you ever fallen down? Oh, yes. 
Ar well, if you don't want a repeat performance, Ar the day is probably easy. What? Looking up at you, I mean. Actually, I'll just go. We've already had that conversation. But what we need to do is to get him to move over here to these gym chimneys. Jim, 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 Cherise. If I can remember how to do that. Let's see. We need to get the uh, fireplace stuck somehow. And the fireplace in the alchemist's house. Yet again, we're gonna ruin the alchemist's day. Like we haven't done that enough already. As in, we, we did steal the imp from him. And pretty much destroy his camera. It's the door. The d well, I... Looks like a little hunk. Leave the camera alone. You mean excuse me? Do we have anything to use for the uh Not really. Hmm. Okay, so we know who the uh, members of the Dark Brotherhood are around and okay, we'll explain that. <laughs> We have a reason to go to the shades. I'd need a. But for some reason, he still won't go to the shades. Uh, I guess I need to find out how to get the real reason to go in there. Uh, no reason to go to the hideout actually during the day because there's nobody here. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what you need to do next. Still looks like dry grass to me. Well, that's pretty much what the hay is. You know, it's just dry grass. Oh, yeah, there's a massive, there. scaly, city roasting, all destroying, foul, <laughs> lump, and slavering. <laughs> Yet somehow majestically beautiful dragon. A screwdriver. Just what I've always wanted. Really? You've always wanted a screwdriver. I hope you're talking about the drink instead of a real screwdriver. Let's see, let's see what all the stuff that we have. And got the corn flour, got the, got the beer. I got those. I got the prunes. I do know what those are for, but I still need an octopus. Trust me, I need an octopus. What's with all the hay in there? What's with the camera not staying in one place? Can I even get out of here? Come on, let me get out of here. And what's with the hay? It's a barn. It says right there, barn. I wonder if there's people at the inn now. Usually in Act 2 people will start to appear here. No, still not here. Huh. What am I doing wrong? What's this stain then? There, we got the sheet. Good. I needed that. Smells a bit funny, this bed. Maybe because he because he peed on himself. Remember in the um, in the uh, bar, the uh, broken drum, we met a dude who was really scared of something because he said that there a uh, sort of a ghost appeared. At night at his place and he said soap on tap what will they think of next I don't know soap on a rope um, he explained that he uh, saw a ghost who went to do one thing after another because he had something hidden somewhere and we need to get that item that he said that he had hidden somewhere in his house what's this say 
If using bath, please remember our other patrons and clean the bathroom after use. If using Ankmore Pork River water, please remember your next of kin and leave a will pinned to the door. <laughs> they always say that the Ankmore Pork River water is like really toxic. Eau de toilette. I've always felt there was something rather unwholesome about dabbing one's face with toilet water. It's not really toilet water, it's just named that. What a ludicrous painting! Yeah, must be really ludicrous. Extra bubbly with that great lemon-lime taste tang you've come to love. I don't really... Usually people don't eat their bubble bath, you know. Hmm, it's got that ring of confidence. Can we use it? That doesn't work. Well, I guess if, if it doesn't work, then we cannot use it. <laughs> hmm, bit dusty. That doesn't work. I wonder if he's still in the broken drum. Because after you, usually when you listen to his story, he will leave for good. But if he is in here, I'll talk to him again. Oh yeah, that's the aftermath of the fight we caused yesterday. Oh, he's still here, the scared guy. Actually, terror is a fair way of responding to this place. I must remember it for future reference. Relax, son. I'm a wizard. Let me buy you a drink. So, um, what's all this about ghosts then, old son? In my room, a vile creature from the nethermost depths. It took me gate pass, and then it just left. Oh, I'll never forget the horror. Gate pass? Hmm. You said you'll never forget, as in you could give me a detailed <laughs> account, blow by blow, so to speak? Well, yes. Oh, just for the record, so to speak. Mind if I take all of this down? Well, shouldn't I lie on a couch or something? Feel free. Will it improve matters? Nah. Tell me about this gate pass. Gate pass? Sorry, did I say gate pass? Uh, tell me about this ghost. Oh, it was horrible. There it stood, all swirling and all spectral, a veritable vision straight out of the dungeon dimensions. It burst straight out of the doorway. Mm -hmm. I've got a weak heart, I have. I fainted clean away. Ah, oh, fainted without seeing anything? Like the activities of this ghost, for instance? No, nothing. Well, I saw nothing except it reached below my jewel box, get the letter opener from the secret compartment beneath, then open the letter I'd hidden under the mattress, read the note inside, and use the combination in the note to open up the safe. But apart from that, you remember nothing? That's right. When I came to, my city pass was gone. That's quite the uh, detailed memory there. He doesn't remember anything. Except for all those details he just uh, told us. Well, now that we know those details and we do need the gate pass to get out of this uh, freaking city, well, let's go to the past. You can all um, see where this is going to. It's pretty easy to tell what you need to do. So let's go to the inn. Boom, boom. That doesn't work. That doesn't. Oh, come on. You're supposed to wear that freaking sheet. There we go. This is where we use it. No. Rinswind. Thank you. So we go to the jewelry box first. A jewelry box? I wonder if it plays a tune. The old letter opener in the secret compartment in the box trick. What's this for then? Undercover correspondence? Aha. Uh -huh. This looks like the combination to a safe. Safe? Not for long, matey. Good, good, I'm sure I'll figure out what this is for. Did we get something? I don't know if we got something. That doesn't... A picture of a safe? 
He had a picture of a safe. Hmm, bit dusty. That du I wonder if I did this wrong because of all the, uh... The dialogue gunning going wrong. Oh, let's not be silly. What? Well, it's just one of the scared the guy, just a little bit. Or maybe I got the pass already. We definitely didn't get the gate pass from there. <laughs> get, get that off me! It tickles! I'm sorry, Rinswin. This room sounds as if it's occupied. Let's try that again. This time... more accurately. Oh yeah, 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 actually, Jace, you're right, you're right, actually, Jace, thank you, thank you, thank you. We need to go back to the future to talk with the dude, he, because he doesn't remember everything. Ugh, I'm stoop, I'm just a stupid, stupid moron. That's what I usually am with these games anyway. We need to go back to the future and ask him about the item we find, that the knocker thingamajig. Where's the... there's the broken drum. But then again, he might not remember everything because he didn't see anything except all those things that he talked about before. No! Go! Relax, son. Let me buy it. So, in my room, a foil... Gate pass? Hmm. As he... Well... <laughs> what? For you. What did you nah. tell me? Gate? Sorry. Uh, oh, it bit. Ah. No. Well, I saw nothing except get the letter opener from the secret compartment, then open the letter I'd hidden under the mattress, read the note inside, and use the combination in the uh -huh. note to open up the safe. But yeah. Apart from that, you. That's right. When I came to, my city pass was gone. Tell me about this hammer thing. Did your ghost have a hammer? Yes, yes, so he did. Um. What exactly did he do with it? He cracked open the jewellery box. Cracked it open? I thought... That... Why? Well, my gate pass was inside, wasn't it? But if he had a hidden compartment for the letter opener, what... How many hidden compartments do you have in one jewellery box? That's ju just some jewellery box, all right. Damn. Does he even keep any jewellery in it? Probably not. Those are the things that people always <laughs> rob from it, I assume. <sighs> At least now we know why he wouldn't do everything that he would need to do. You need to do go back and talk to the guy. Talk about convoluted ways of uh, doing things. I mean, you have to rinse and repeat and stuff. So now we can do this. The old. What's this? Aha! Uh -huh. And bam! Gate pass. This should get me out past those goons who guard the city gate. Yes. All right. Now that we got that done, let's go back to the future and leave Ankh-Morpork. Pork. Not for good. No. There's a lot, a lot of things we need to do in the city. Definitely a lot of things to do. There's a lot of stuff that we just need from outside the world, in this world. And also, we're gonna visit the end of the world. Never seen it? You're gonna be surprised about what it looks like. There, we just saw the uh, show the pass, and we're passed. Woohoo! The outside world of this world, or at least outside of Dank Morkbork. Majestic, isn't it? We got the mountains here. We got the um, the Greek-like uh, 
city over there. Don't remember what that place is called. And then we got the ocean and the end of the world. You have to remember, this is just a world on a disc and on a four elephants carried by a flying giant turtle. For some reason, I cannot remember the flying turtle's name now. Started with an A, maybe. I haven't never read the books, but I've seen movies and uh, played this game and such references everywhere. So, don't quote me on anything I say about this game or about this world. I don't know that much about it. Still, it's a great uh, adventure. So we gotta go through the mountain pass. Oh great, a cockatrice. Uh, now can't we discuss this? Oops. Look, you can't frighten me. Yeah, because we have our own security guard. <laughs> the luggage. <laughs> Nicely done, luggage. You bad saved. boy. What do you mean, bad boy? He just saved your ass. That was a cockatrice. If you stare at the cockatrice too long, he's gonna petrify you. Well, at least we got an egg and a feather. By Offler, this egg's gigantic. I bet that hurt coming out. It doesn't look that big compared to normal chickens and all that. A cockatrice feather. I can only wonder. Yeah, <laughs> go tickle the elephants. Yeah, and make Discworld go all haywire in space. Yeah, not good. Not a good idea. Let's not destroy the world by tickling the elephants. We're here to save the world, or at least save uh, Ike more pork. So we can go to the dark woods. We can go to the dark woods. I thought there was a way to get to the end of the world here. I guess it's a little further. Yep. Well, let's go to the dark wood. It's the only place we can go right now. 